What is up guys, it's me the Gaming D and welcome back to another video guys, WWE 2K19 is finally out and in this video guys we are going to be starting the showcase in this game, the first showcase, uh, we don't know if there's going to be any more with the season pass and everything but uh, this one is the uh, return of Daniel Bryan, now <laughs> I'm very excited for this but before I even get into anything, if you guys uh, do create your own superstars, I do my own uh, superstar showcase on this channel. I did it in last year's, so if you'd like to upload your custom superstars and uh, you want to let me know that you have uploaded and you want me to showcase some of them, just download them. Uh, go into my Discord, there is a chat on there where you can, you know, post a picture of them, your gamer tag, and the name of them, and I will do something like this, click on it, view it, you know, if I, if I like it, if I like it, you know, I'll possibly use it, and I'll make a video out of it, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go ahead and do that, but, uh, other than that, guys, uh, let's get right into this. We're going to start off on the showcase, the return of Daniel Bryan. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home, satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Well, we might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. Oh my lord, I am very excited to get this started, guys. The first match on this is way back in Velocity Era 2003. Man, oh man, and it is versus John Cena. We got Brian Danielson versus John Cena, so let's get into this, guys. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard actually because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows, Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this too. Look at that. Nice monkey flip. Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past, and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely, this would be my big break, right? <laughs> His big break against John Cena. Man, <clears throat> oh, my, my throat. Okay, what's going on? What happened to the... Uh, there we go, there we go. The, for some reason, the crowd audio just like... Um, I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> it was really weird. 
All right, perform a limb target attack from a standing grapple. All right, let's see if we can do something. I don't know why the uh, the crowd's all all jacked up. Um, hold on, let me see how to do these targets. Uh, <laughs> I honestly do not remember at all. Oh my god, I'm so freaking burpy. I'm so burpy. All right, let's see here. Is it just that, I think? Front face lock, uh, hold, and then tap one of the buttons, okay. Okay, I am not doing it right. <laughs> do I need to do that? Oh, my back. Alright, come on. <clears throat> come on. My arm. Why is the crowd so so weird? I think there's a a couple of things they need to they need to fix in this game. <laughs> Just slightly, just slightly. I like the crowd, there's something going on with it. Alright, come on. Come on, I reversed that, man. What? Why is Corey Graves over here? You'd think, what? I could see Michael Cole being over there just because, you know, he's Michael Cole, but. Oh my god. Oh, I, that's why. I'm friggin' I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. And for some reason... I'm an idiot. Jesus. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Alright, what is going on? What is going on? All right, come on. Controls. Face lock. Hold R1 and push one of the buttons. That's what I'm doing. Come on, man. Is it because I'm, like, pushing up on the stick or something? Oh, what? Okay. Haha, <laughs> don't touch me there. That's my no-no square. Okay, come on, man. This game is a bonkers. Why why are people booing? This stuff is amazing. How do I do this? What is going on? How do I do that? <laughs> how do I, how am I supposed to do this? Hold on, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Let's see here. Yep, I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I legit was searching for that for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, what is this? Perform a grapple at the head uh, of a grounded John Cena in the ring. Okay. My dog is snoring, and I, I, it's pretty, pretty loud. So, um, yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's do a nice grapple. Come on, that was at the head. What are you doing? Alright, stop. Grapple. 
and he reversed it so it doesn't count and I reversed that but it didn't count <laughs> this game perform a grapple at the head of John Cena I am trying sir and it's not working okay oh come on it doesn't even give me enough time to react I'm literally doing exactly what it's telling me to do because I looked and it was like when John Cena's on the ground push push X uh, oh I hit the wrong button for some reason okay I, I've been playing too much uh, 2k15 so I honestly love how they, uh, oh, what the hell was that? Was that Cena's old school, like, signature move? He used a freaking a uh, power slam or whatever that was, a uh, suplex? Oh, man. I wonder if his finisher is the same. Alright, here we go. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Oh, and my signature didn't freaking generate. What's going on, man? This is gridonculous, boys. Alright, let's get that again. If any of you watched the, uh, um... The what's it called? The WWE 2K15 showcase uh, series that I did. The John Cena and uh, CM Punk one. Uh, literally, uh, every time. Oh, oh, come on! Okay. Whew. That one. Uh, that one got me. Got me. Uh, got me going. All right. Let's. Let's see if we can do a signature here. Yeah, on that uh, on that showcase, legit, I would mess up so much. Alright, let's see. Oh, and of course. Oh, the knee to the face. Perform a strong strike at Cena's head when he's faced. What? Hold square near the head of a. Jesus. Why? Okay, they need to, like. <laughs> they literally need to fix it so whatever, like, the objective stuff says when you pause the game, it needs to say the same thing on screen. Alright, here we go. All right, we need to pick him up. Oh. All right, we need we need to just pin Cena. We need to just get this match over with. One, two, and he kicked up. Irish whip him into the corner. Oh, don't don't talk about Brian Danielson like that. Alright. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
Anderson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got him. Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. Here is your winner, John Valiant effort Cena. by Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard-fought victory tonight for Cena. Got to be impressed with Cena tonight. All right, let's get on to the next match. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full-time to WWE, but that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say, if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. Do you think you're ready? Yes, yes I do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. I guess he misses by beating a little bit of respect into his NXT rookie. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school, the stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the World Champion on NXT on the first show. Win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. Okay, so Chris Jericho versus good old Daniel Bryan. Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. Oh, and of course it's going to do this garbage. Oh, my God. That was pretty, <laughs> pretty hurtful. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but during that little... Uh, little scene there that uh that we had uh before this match is that uh what uh, what's his name yeah yeah eat okay that counted the people who were in uh the nxt the original nxt like daniel bryan uh was he all these other people jesus i i keep getting sidetracked like i, I I start, I start paying more attention to what's going on in the game than what I'm saying. Um, the people who were in there, like the contestants, some of them, uh, their faces were literally blurred out. Um, I thought that was strange. Like, they must have not uh, been able to or something. There might be something going on with the WWE. Dude, I don't know, but... It was very weird just seeing that 
their faces were all blurred. Uh, oh, it was weird. And even um, the, uh, I think it was Justin Roberts, the original, I, I wouldn't say original, but he was one of the top guys uh, for the, uh, I think it was Raw brand after uh, Lillian Garcia stopped really doing the uh, announce announcer duties. Um, even his face was blurred out. So, I, I, dude, I don't know what's going on here. Like, <laughs> is there some beef? Is there some beef we don't know? Oh, and the reversal. And he got me good. Why am I out of the ring? Okay, I'll get back in. And, boom, shakalaka. Alright, perform a running strike in front of a standing Chris Jericho. Yayit, a little knee to the face. Uh, cover him for a pin. Okay, let's let's just do that real quick. You know. Okay, the referee. You don't need to do that. All right, perform a standing strike in front of him. Oh my God, I hate this reversal. Yeah. That Jericho's gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Uh -oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's gonna get much rest time. What's this oh, guy Brian? doing? Daniel Bryan! Oh. Suicide dive right off the announce desk. Looks like Brian might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way. And now, if you guys didn't know, um, all right, uh, perform a springboard attack on the apron and Chris Jericho and say the ring. Okay, if you guys didn't know, <coughs> Jesus, my my throat just like gave out. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, no. be some sort of oh boy. See, I told you. Oh boy, this one's over now. Roll into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Ryan's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh, my oh, God. Heel hook. Heel hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho tried it. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He may he made it to the bottom rope. You have got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did Daniel, he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he... Oh, moonbreaker! You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Uh... Lion Tamer. Can Brian hold on? Tap out, nerd. You got your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't the hang with a champ. Yeah, this Chris time, Jericho. experience was just too much for Daniel Bryan. And listen, Miz has got to be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. The luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz a little bit of tough whoa, whoa, love here. Whoa, whoa. Tough love? Give me a break. Tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh, yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up? Yeah, start winning some matches, then he won't get beat up anymore. This is ridiculous. What this is he just lost his mind. Lying on his back, looking at the lights. Now, guys, if you did not know that, <laughs> I was going to say this, but um, if you guys didn't know that one of these moves that he did, the it was, it was right before he did the dive out of the ring, um, he was supposed to, like, clothesline, Chris Jericho over the top rope, but I don't think he was strong enough, and Chris Jericho wasn't tall enough, and he just bounced, and he fell to the ground, rolled outside of the ring, so if you guys didn't know that, now you do, it was a botched move. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end of episode number one of this series. We did see John Cena and uh, 
Brian Danielson on Velocity in 2003. And we also did see Daniel Bryan versus Chris Jericho on one of the episodes of NXT. So next we'll be seeing this Night of Champions match. And then maybe a second match. We'll see. We'll see if you guys deserve it or not. If you guys have enjoyed this and just like it in general, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.